find the angle between unit vectors a and b so that root 3 a minus b is also a unit vector so given a is a unit vector so mod a is equal to 1 and b is also unit vector mod b is equal to 1 and let theta be the angle between the two vectors let theta be the angle between two vectors a and b so that root 3 a minus b is also a unit vector so consider mod of root 3 a minus b is equal to 1 so we need to find the angle between the two vectors a and b so let's squaring on both sides which implies that root 3a minus b whole square is equal to 1 square since we know that a dot a is equal to mod a square so we can write here root 3a minus b dot root 3a minus b which is equal to 1 so by using the properties the commutative property says that a dot b is equal to b dot a so we can write here root 3 into root 3 that is 3 times a dot a minus root 3 times of a dot b minus root 3 times of b dot a plus 1 time of b dot b which is equal to 1 that is 3 times mod a square minus root 3 times a dot b minus root 3 times so here it is a b dot a and a dot b both are same so we can write here minus root 3 times of b dot a that is a dot b we can write plus mod b square is equal to 1 since mod a is equal to 1 and mod b is equal to 1 so we can write 3 times of 1 square minus 2 times root 3 times a dot b plus mod b square is 1 square is equal to 1 that is 3 1s are 3 3 plus 1 that is 4 4 minus 2 times root 3 a dot b is equal to 1 or we can also give 4 minus 1 which is 2 root 3 times a dot b is equal to or a dot b is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 3 upon 2 root 3 let us rationalize with the root 3 rationalize the denominator by multiplying and dividing with the root 3 so that we can write a dot b is equal to 3 into root 3 divided by 2 into 3 so we can cancel here 3 and 3 so a dot b is equal to root 3 by 2 so by the definition of dot product we can give a dot b is equal to mod a mod b cos of the angle between the two vectors a and b is equal to root 3 by 2 since mod a and mod b are unit vectors a and b are unit vectors so mod a is equal to 1 mod b is equal to 1 so 1 into 1 into cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 so which implies that cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 and here cos theta is positive so we can consider this as an acute angle and in the first quadrant so cos theta is equal to cos pi by 6 cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2 so we can take pi by 6 so we can consider that the angle between the two vectors a and b is 5 by 6 that are 30 degrees.